today I'm back with another monthly preview video for you all. Today I'm going to be doing my December preview where I go over all my December titles I will be picking up for the entire month while there's some great releases coming out. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the first Blu-ray Tuesday. But as I go through my pickups, definitely leave in the comments below what you plan on picking up or what you already have pre-ordered for the month. But going on December 6th, I'm gonna be picking up a few titles here, starting with Pulp Fiction on 4K. Now I'm gonna be getting the slip cover at 1959. There is a still book option as well. That one's a little bit more pricey at $27.99. Now I have never seen this movie before. Yeah, can you believe it? I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan, but for some reason this movie has just kind of slipped by me. So I need to watch it. I've only heard great things about it. Like this is the Quentin Tarantino film, so I'm hyped up for it. Now I'm going with the slipcover option because it is cheaper, but also I do just kind of like the poster artwork on it a little bit better than the still book. And the still book just wasn't calling my attention too much. And because it is a blind buy for me, I wanted to go with kind of the safer, cheaper option just to be cautious on my part, but can't wait to see this one for the first time in 4K. Now, another first time movie I will be watching is gonna be the Scream Factory release of Black Christmas. Now, I've never seen this one before. It's one of the original slashers, mixes the holiday and horror genre together, and I kind of love when movies do that. So I wanna check this one out. I've heard pretty much only good things about this one, at least the original anyway. I did see the remake. A lot of people don't like the remake. I thought it was pretty mediocre myself for a horror movie, but I'm gonna check out this original and hopefully Scream Factory does a good job packing in awesome new special features because it is a little pricey. This is my expensive pickup for the month at $29.99. So hopefully I enjoyed enough because now it's gonna be in the collection forever. All right, next up, a deal I think is really, really good actually that I was kind of shocked by is gonna be Tommy Boy. Now this one's already getting shipped to me. This is a 4K steelbook only at $17.99, yeah, 18 bucks for a 4K steelbook, that is awesome. That's way better than the Wayne's World steelbook release. I love this price right here. Now, I don't think I've ever seen the Tommy Boy movie all the way through. I remember bits and parts of it from when I was younger, but I need to definitely give it a rewatch. So at this price, I don't mind adding it into the collection because I know a lot of people love this comedy and hopefully I will as well. But looks like a cool still book for the price. Can't complain there. Now on the following Blu-ray Tuesday, I'm gonna be getting a couple pickups here and they're both actually uh, Shout Factory releases. I'm gonna get Coraline and Paranorman. Now I'm gonna go with the slip covers on these ones. These ones are gonna be at $19.99. There are still book options though. If you wanna go with it, you can get it at $27.95 for the still books. And the still book art design on these ones actually look really, really cool. So if you love the movies, you're a massive fan, you collect still books, actually those still book options aren't bad at all. Those are really, really cool. But I'm gonna go with the slip covers just to be a little bit more cautious with the price, just kind of trying to budget a little bit better this month. And I still like the slip covers and I like the movie. So I can't wait to see these ones on 4K, see if it makes much of a difference with the animation. But I don't have these movies in the collection at all. And I like both of these movies. I remember Coraline definitely being very scary and creepy when I was a kid, just some of the imagery, you know, very Tim Burton-y with that style. Uh, so I did really like it. And I've only seen it once, I think, so I need to see it again. Paranorman is another one I only saw once, but I really like that one. I just really like the characters and the themes and messages of the movie. And so these are perfect movies for spooky season. Why they're coming out in December, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's because they already had so many other new releases the past month. They wanted to spread these ones out. And yeah, they're animated, so they are more family friendly here. Uh, but you know what? I'm just happy to get them into the collection at some point because like I said, I remember enjoying these movies as a kid and hopefully they keep up even though some time has passed now. But I know a lot of people like them as well. So can't wait to get those awesome additions. All right, next up, we're going to have December 20th and there are some, you know, new titles coming out here that I did consider like war games. But then I thought, you know what? 
I've never seen war games. So do I really want to do a blind buy on a movie here that's a little bit more pricey because it's a boutique label release? I'm like, you know what? Instead, for that week, this is just going to be a catch-up week of holiday movies that came out in the last month that I totally missed out on because I was waiting to have them drop in price just a little bit. So I'm going to be picking up the 4Ks of Elf now and also Christmas Vacation. Some of the best holiday comedies of all time. These movies are hilarious. I really, really like them both. So I need them into the collection. I've heard good things about the 4K releases of this one. I do like the slip covers overall. So I can't complain too much here. These prices are at $23.79 now. A little bit in a price drop, not too much though. Uh, but I just need to add these ones into the collection for the holiday season. Make some awesome holiday video content for you all out there. So I'm okay picking these ones up. And I'll probably also pick up some other random uh, Blu-ray holiday titles that I don't have in my collection. Just to kind of beef up, uh, you know, my holiday collection. You know, I just, I have a good select amount, but I just want to add more to it. So this is going to be a good catch up week for that. All right. Now the following Blu-ray Tuesday, which is going to be December 27th, we have Halloween Ends coming out. Yes, there's tons of different versions of this movie. They got slip covers. They got, you know, an exclusive Walmart slip cover. They got the exclusive Best Buy Steelbook. And I had to go with the exclusive Best Buy Steelbook because, you know, I have all the Halloween movies. I got, you know, Halloween 2018 on Steelbook, Halloween Kills on Steelbook from Best Buy. So that's why I'm getting Halloween Ends on Steelbook from Best Buy as well, just so I have that complete collection. Even though, if you ever heard my thoughts on the movie, I think this movie is terrible. It is really, really bad. So I don't know why I'm torturing myself here, adding it into the collection. I know I'm going to watch it again because I just love watching those Halloween movies during spooky season. It's kind of a weird time for it to come out, you know, in December. That is a little odd to me. Uh, but I still got to add it to the collection. And I do like the steelbook design overall, you know, with the orange coloring uh, from Best Buy. So I think the artwork's there. I just think the movie is just... Ugh. It's a tough watch. It is a tough watch. I don't find it to be really much like a Halloween movie at all. I don't even find it to be a good movie. It's a pretty below average horror movie to me. So, yep, going to be a tough watch, but still going to add it to the collection. I mean, you know how our, uh, how it is, the collection mine. If we have it already in the franchise, you know, I can't leave out Halloween ends. I, I just can't do it. I need to have the whole franchise complete. Uh, just because I love the Halloween franchise so much. Uh, but there we go. Those are the main uh, new releases I'm going to be picking up for the entire month of December. Also probably pick up a few random titles that go on sale here and there. So definitely make sure you comment below if you haven't already. What are you looking forward to? two in the month are there's any titles i'm missing out on that i didn't mention that you highly recommend that i pick up i'll definitely consider that let's leave those in the comments below and have some awesome great movie discussions and if you love collecting physical media just like me and being a part of this merry league of film fans make sure you subscribe right now to stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics oh yeah thirsty for more and if you like this physical media topic video, click another one to see more. And if you like spreading holiday cheer, make sure you smash that like and notification bell for all to hear.